Hi, thank you for joining me on my first tutorial. The first tutorial will be covering how to install an antivirus package called Asset Nod32. Okay, and this is going to be installed on a Windows 7 computer. Okay, the first thing I'd like for you to do is go to your start menu, all programs, okay, and just make your way up to Internet Explorer. Okay, if you just click on that for me. Okay, my home page is set to google.co.uk. If yours isn't, can you just make sure that the bar in the top here, if if it's not google.co.uk, can you just type it in? Okay, now in the Google search, please can you type in the asset nod 32 download installation. Okay, then press enter, and you should get a search page that looks something very similar to this. Okay, the page I'd like you to click on is the one that says Download Asset. Okay, as you can see, it's just here. Just click on that, and that should bring you to a page that looks something very similar like this one. Okay, you should be able to see it's in green, and it says Take Me to My Download. Okay, so we're going to click on that. Okay, and as we're focusing primarily on antivirus program, uh, we're just going to click on this download button here, which is related to the antivirus product. Okay, if you click on the download button, okay, you should see a little box that pops up down here. Okay, and it asks you if you want to run or save the program. In this instance, we're just going to run the program. Okay. Now, after a few moments, as you can see, you'll see a pop-up just appears. Uh, it's just a security um, function from Windows. If you just click Yes to authorize this. Okay, now you'll see the Nod Antivirus. The Nod32 Antivirus program has just appeared. Um, just make sure that your language is set to English, and then we're OK uh, to go ahead and start the installation. So just click Install. OK, depending on your internet speed, um, this will depend on how long this will take to go across. Um, the slower the internet speed, the slower it's going to take. Um, obviously, mine's going to take about 30 seconds. Um, I'm quite a fast internet connection here. If you are on something around 2 megabytes a second, um, you're going to want to probably leave this for a, co a good couple of minutes uh, just for it to complete. OK. Um, if you do have any problems with your broadband speed, um, I'd recommend um, and advise for you to speak to your internet service provider. Okay, uh, now once that is completed, you will see the end user license agreement. This is just uh, quite a lot of information there based on what your rights are to the product, uh, what the restrictions are based on the product. Um, it's up to you with your discretion to read through that in your own time. Um, if you do want any more information, um, I would advise for you to go to the asset.com website um, for more information on that. Okay, once you've read through all the terms and conditions and the end user license agreement, if you just want to click the I accept button, okay, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. Okay, it gives you the option to enable the detection of potentially unwanted applications. I would advise you to tick that just in case there are programs on your computer that potentially you don't really want there but you're a bit unsure about them the program will pick them up and will notify you of them okay if you just click next again okay now you'll see the installation uh, progress there this could take about 10 minutes for it to complete fully uh, it will go through um, installing drivers um, and things like that uh, you might see that your screen might flash a couple of times. It's nothing to worry about. It's just the process of um, how it works anyway. Uh, just while this is going, I just want to take the opportunity uh, just to remind everybody uh, of the website, which is www.petitos.co.uk. Okay, on there you will find uh, a forum. Okay, uh, the forum isn't just specifically for the tutorials, uh, can be for any technical help, uh, can be for any just normal chat, uh, it's not a problem at all, uh, just to use the forum for, for whatever it is that you want to use it for. Um, there is a section specifically on there for giving feedback for the tutorials, if you find that the, tut the tutorials are very good, then it'd be really nice, again, more than happy to hear from you. Um, 
if it's going to make these tutorials better in the long run um, more than happy to hear from you absolutely um, also on the website there is a, a guides section okay the guides section is basically a mirror of the video tutorial however the guide is a PDF document and it just gives images of exactly what goes on in the tutorial, how the steps how, of how to do this. Um, if you don't want to watch the video, if you're on the train or if you're out and about and you're probably not going to have the signal for the internet, um, the best thing to do is probably before you leave is just to download the PDF and just follow that through. Uh, that's the best way to do that. Um, they are very, very small files, um, a lot smaller than what the videos are. Okay. Okay, as you can see, there is a notification here telling you that the asset nod has just is actually turned off at the moment. Uh, that is pretty much just because it's still installing, as you can see. Okay, it shouldn't be too much longer. We are on 100% now. Just removing the last of the backup files. There we go. It says installation completed, as you can see. So if you just want to click the finish button. Okay, now it's going to ask if you want to activate using a username and a password. Now, for this basis, we're going to activate a trial license. Uh, this is because I haven't actually purchased the full uh, the full product. Um, just for this purpose, we're going to use a trial license just to see what it looks like. If you do, however, in the future want to purchase a license, the purchase license button is just there. If you want to just click next, okay. Um, is ask you to type in your email address. So I'm just going to type in the email address for our website. Okay, I'll ask you to confirm it. Okay, from the United Kingdom, yep. And you just click activate. Okay, now it's just going to run through a few updates. If there aren't any updates already, then it'll just uh, say everything's working absolutely fine. Um, this is basically what it looks like when it's updating the, the uh, antivirus database. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. That's how you install the antivirus program. Uh, all you need to do is just let it go through its update process. Um, like I say, if you do have any questions about this uh, particular tutorial, uh, do feel free um, to message me um, on the forum. That's the best place to contact me. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you get to watch uh, some of the other tutorials that I'm about to make. Thank you.